three, two, one. Session Hello, recording. Everyone. Right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Fighters channel. And today, me and I will talk about some cards from the latest stream, which are the Flatbook support or indirect Magnolia support. And a good stuff, which is the new draw trigger, which we will we'll talk about after the Stoikia stops. So we will proceed with I'm talking about the Stoikia stops. Hey guys, been a long time. Uh, life's been busy, but yeah. So I made my time today to do some videos. All right, first we start off with uh, with some Stoikia cuts. So we start with the grade two. His name is Heavy Strike Brave Shooter. So, you know, your normal 10k base, 5k shield card, grade 2. It, he is a rare card. So his skill is auto on regard circle. When this unit attacks and your vanguard is flat break dragon, this turn, during this turn, this unit gets plus 5k. So uh, normal 15k beat stick. Um, I don't really expect too much from this card. It's a rare. Uh, hopefully, we could see more better cards. You know. Um, actually, arm about that card. You can yeah. use a card that allows it to restand, so that it can gain another five k on the second attack. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Well, there's high rate burst dragon. Ah. Uh, well, uh, sorry, I'm not the expert. Uh, it's been a long time since I touched overdress. I've only been concentrating on premium. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, well. Um, the next card is a great tree. So he's the triple R for Flatberg. His name is Blue Artillery Dragon, Inlet Pulse Dragon. So it's drinky base, no shield. That's what we expect from a great tree. Uh, so. After the battle where this unit attacks a grade 3 and above Vanguard, and this is the first battle of the turn, and your Vanguard is Flatberg, you soul plus 1 and you stand this unit. And then his second skill is, at the end of your turn, if there's a total of 4 or more attacks during this turn, you may put him to soul and you draw 1 card. <clears throat> so aqua force players i think you guys know what this card is this is basically terrific coil plus coral assault uh especially the first skill the first skill screams terrific coil but uh the this is more of a weaker uh more of a weaker terrific coil because one you need to attack a grade three and your vanguard needs to be flat back. So, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty difficult to say, but then again, it's over just right. Uh, the second skill though, it is, it's very good, honestly, for what it is. Uh, if you attack for a more, you get draw plus one. So, you know, a soul is good for you. A draw is good for you. You can, obviously this is meant to play flat back. Uh, I don't see this playing Zorga for now. And Magnolia, of course, this card is actually playable in Magnolia. Azar, do you have any comments on this, especially when you play Magnolia? Hey, it's actually an indirect buff for Magnolia, but for now, I'm not sure if it's going to the deck or not. Mm, because see, it's see. only played for half its potential. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Oh well, well, we'll let the testing do the talking, yeah. So, yep, but you, know, you can you. splash it in drawing, you know, the aqua for drawing engine premium. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, but you know, we had better cards, you know, we have an actual terrific coil and we have coral assault, right? So, I don't see any reason to, especially if it's like grade three. Do we have space? I don't know, maybe. I'm not an Aqua Force player, so I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, well, that's all for the Stoikia. So, Azar, would you like to talk about the draw triggers? All right, guys. So, there's a new draw trigger will be released at DBT04, and the draw trigger has its own effect. It gains 5k shield if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or higher. 
basically similar to the new front trigger that actually created a DBT-02 back then, but this time they put it in draw trigger. Mm, so far, it buffs some decks and it debuffs some decks. First of all, let's talk about Dragon Empire. The first one we got ever overdress. So far, the most common overdress I saw mostly play full crit and the rest is going to be filled with front over trigger and heal. So I think it will be a buff for overdress. Then there's overlord. Obviously, it's a buff because the most common overlord is playing draw trigger. And you know, you can gain 5k shield from draw trigger, 10k shield for one attack. Then there's Eugene. You don't play draw at all in the deck, so ouch, it's not a buff at all. Oh yeah, not to mention that these draw triggers can help you guard for 10k shield, which is you know very, very useful on most of the attacks. Like there are times you want to guard for 10k shield, but you have to think whether you want to use 15k shield or you have to use two normal units, which is a huge waste depending on how you use it. But most of the time, it's a huge waste of two potential key cards. Then move on to Dark Sage using this draw trigger. For Bruce, depending on your trigger lineup, but the most common Bruce lineup, especially in Japan, they're playing the Rainbow Trigger. Like 8 crit, 4 draw, 3 front, 4 heal, or is it 8 crit or lower crit, then 4 draw, 4 front, 4 heal, either combination, but as so you play draw, it's already buff for your deck. Then there's Borrow Magnus, depending on your trigger lineup again. But the most common one doesn't play draw now. And then there's Gideon, it's a confirmed buff. Basically, it asks you to die by deck out instead of 7 damage. Next one, we're talking about Keter, Bastion. The most common Bastion doesn't play draw at all, so it's not a buff. Hexa Orb doesn't play draw. Not a buff also. Then there's Phantom Blaster Dragon. It's a definitely buff because you play a lot of draws in this deck. Because you need those sacrifice. Next one is Toikia. For Magnolia, it's a definitely buff because Magnolia need those defense. And we play draws a lot. The most common one is around four draws, like between three to five draws for Magnolia. Then there's Zorga. It, the most common one doesn't play draw at all, so it's, it's kind of not a buff. Next one is Flagbird. Well, Flagbird definitely a buff because you do play draws in Flagbird, especially when you need those key cards, especially the multi attackers. Last but not least, I mean, of the five main nation, don't worry, arm, don't get triggered, please. Uh, yeah. Um, there's Seraphs no, they don't play draws, but actually some of them do play draw. But the most common one I saw doesn't play one. So it's dependent on your trigger lineup whether it's a buff or not. There's Orpheus. It's a definite buff. Some of them actually play draws because you need to get those world cards. I mean, the first card that search for world is the great one, uh, Brutus. Then... You can't actually search for order after that, aside from the Miasma and the Cat from DBT03. Yeah, for Office, it's a buff. And this Gravidia is a nerf, definitely nerf, because you don't play draw in Gravidia, uh, or you know you don't want to deck out. But if you play it, it's a buff. So my point is, if you play the draw trigger now, it's definitely a buff for you in DBT04. Well, I'm going to cover the lyrical, even though... Hey, for Lornel, it's a necessary buff, actually. All right. So for Lyrical, Monastery, I good little babies. You know, uh, play, I play Lyrical because, you know, I like Bermuda and we need a Lyrical in the team. So hey, being Singapore, you, you have your privileges, I guess. So Bushiro just announced that uh, we're going to have a new Lyrical set at the 25th of February. Uh, not too bad, honestly. Uh, with the 
V collection was it on January? Yes, uh, yep. Uh, I've been saving up uh, for both sets, so I'm gonna spend a lot of money. Hey, when uh, when you play a nation where it gets supported at least twice a year, you can save up a lot of money. You know. That's so awesome. yep. Um, we were revealed there's gonna be two new right lines. So the first one is Mimish for Tia. So she's a lolly. You know, she looks like a war beast. Maybe. Uh, I mean, even though it's a new right line, maybe it could relate to Loro Nero, since Loro Nero is also a oh, what she, a war also. Then we have the beautiful Onesa, the calming beauty, Armenia. Uh, I might build her. You know, she looks interesting. Uh, <clears throat> um, she looks very strong. She looks very nice. You know, and she looks very mature. And yeah, I hope. Like I, I hope. Uh, both of them are exciting to play. Hope they are at the top in, in the future, you know. Then we were revealed there is going to be three new triggers with ability. You know, we all expected this. The, the critical trigger, the front trigger, and the draw trigger. We don't know which is which first, but yeah. So talk about the critical trigger. I think for now, like the critical trigger is nice to have on some decks. Some are must to have, like Kyrie Ghost Hybrid. Those are must to have. I think the Ghost, the Filthy Rosa Ghost. I, if I'm not mistaken, they need quite amount of soul to play the game. Um, does Lord Nero need it? Not so sure. I don't think so. They need it. It's just uh, a nice to you have. Don't need much soul, honestly, mm. because you know you only need soul with the Elmer. Mm. The mm. you know the partial yeah, yeah. G guarded in Lord Nero, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, and then the draw trigger. The draw trigger actually, I'm a big fan of the new draw trigger for my Clarissa. Uh, I love ever since they restricted the triggers limit to eight maximum. You know, uh, you know, it's quite sad to see twelve crit Clarissa gone. So I, uh, so I just tried to make the deck more balanced, more defensive, fighting against these aggressive decks nowadays. So, you know, I think the draw trigger, depending on your build, uh, it's a must to have, in my opinion, if you play draws. Then, uh, we were also revealed that there's going to be an LSR pack. Uh, six cards, obviously, but one card is not revealed yet. So, who knows? Maybe it's an over trigger. Maybe. Uh, there's going to be like, what? 11 triple R's? Yeah, there's going to be 11 triple R's. Hopefully, uh, the old right lines are going to get supported. Uh, I think uh, the needed buff decks like Willista, uh, like because ever since they removed the, the 12 crit thingy, Willista is losing a lot of power potential. No, not power potential, game winning potential, you know, because Willista doesn't have any win condition they just make power and just swing just just swing normally right you you can't do anything so hopefully they get a good finisher then felty rosa hmm. felty rosa i think the buff is nice to have but i don't know how to buff them honestly i'm not a felty rosa player but i am a Kyrie player i, I really play Kyrie. uh I think the deck needs a bit more of consistency on their combo. So hopefully to see that sometime in the future. Clarissa. Clarissa herself is actually pretty good. She's doing pretty well by herself, but has one weakness, which is if Clarissa's field is gone, the deck is almost unplayable. So maybe we need maybe a new form of resist or maybe create a new Clarissa. I don't know. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. And then the order, I don't expect the order to be changed. But yeah, maybe the attacking three units in the same time. Maybe that one, can, they can change it. I don't know. Then Lauren Errol, I don't think that deck needs a buff. I think if you like play next year, I think I still expect it, still expect it to top tournaments in Japan and maybe in the West. So, so yeah. Uh, so overall, you know, what? hope to see some very very exciting cards from this set and i'm ready to pre i am prepared to spend at least you know 200 300 dollars for a new deck maybe new upgrades and 
hopefully one day I can buy LSR. Is it LSR or yeah, LSD? LSR. Yeah, LSR Clarissa next time. Yeah, I guess that's it for our yeah, video. That's, that's pretty much it. Like, there's no reveal for next week except from Vanguard Zero stuff. So maybe we skip for one week. Depending if they reveal a new card or not. But that's pretty much it what we wanted to talk about. Hey, wait. You forgot a front trigger, man. Oh, yeah. The front trigger. Uh, Nazir will just cut this, okay? Uh, so the front trigger, um, I think it's only good for Willista, Kyrie. Does Lauren Nettle count? No, I don't think Lauren Nettle plays front. Because they have the power already. So I don't think it's necessary. So the shield is nice to have, I guess. Alestial, uh, man. Alestial. Oh, yeah. Alestial. I forgot about her. Huh? I forgot about her. Sorry, Zo. Sorry, Car. Uh, Alestial. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what buff the, that one. Well, Car was supposed to be here, but he was gone for a moment. So can't be here now. So can't really talk much about Willista. Yeah. Alestial, man. Alestial. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did say Alestial. Yeah, because you said Willista in your last sentence. Can't really talk much about Willista. Yeah. Ah, no. Oh, well. My brain, rusty. Overdressed, rusty. Because I don't play overdress. You know, sorry to say this, guys. But, uh, I find overdress a bit boring. <laughs> FBI, open up! <laughs> I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a be honest with you, Chief. I'm a keep 100. Uh, overdress is a bit boring for me. But hey, if you like to pay overdress, don't stop. Just play what you like. Yeah, I think that you're a premium player, so yeah. your standard yeah. is too high. Sorry, sorry. The amount of plays have been spoiled. Anyways, I think that's it for the video. So Azhar, do you have any comments? So for now, we might skip one week because there might be no new cards on next week. But if they do, we will do this next week. Or another next week so thank you for watching like and subscribe and see you on next video see you guys see ya no we're not sponsored <laughs> what we're not sponsored man <laughs> things happen so we cannot do any video we just do video. something like that like you can just use wordings to explain what happened no worries